<clears throat> Silly. So, hey guys, what's going on? Evan or Nonstop Skills here, back with another video. And as you guys might have seen by the title, uh, Battle Mode Easter Eggs. I actually found this out myself, because if you guys don't know, there's kind of secret hidden features on this map. Uh, so we're gonna be trying to see what they are and it's actually to do with these swords I don't know if you have to like switch them and it'll lock something, but I have a mysterious feeling that it, it locks to this So we're actually found the location of the sword things it is over here If you open these doors you jump over here you jump right here as you can see the gold sword is pointing that way So I have a suspicion that you have to switch this one that way and then another one is if you open this trap door and then do the parkour or you can go over there where I was just run over here if you want to do it with the slam or just jump um, over here there is another one which is iron and it's going down so guys keep that in mind and I actually tried to find even more easter eggs I tried that painting it doesn't have anything behind it but this one does look so I wonder what this is for uh yeah so I, I have a feeling it's a wooden pressure plate so that means we can put something on it and it'll stay on there and stay activated so keep that in mind also so that as we said like as we said before the iron sword is upside down so let's go ahead and put that upside down and now let's go ahead and go over here and the next one guys is actually in this library over here um and what you guys are, I actually found this too by myself um I, I was just looking around i looked in here i was like nothing and then i was just looking around because i saw that i actually found that i found this button right here and i saw that I activated that or where is it i don't know which side is it on um but then i was looking around for more and i saw this so what it does is it activates that that block right there so you can actually jump over there so let's go ahead and go up there And you guys will see this is another sword location. So you jump up here and then look, the diamond sword is bottom right. So remember that. And if you guys go up here, there's a, another firework thing. And there's actually two of these spots on the map. And I will show you where the other firework place is. But then you just jump down here. And guys, um, I had found these Easter eggs because, uh, yeah. I had found them and I was like, is this true? So I looked them up on YouTube and it was true. And I had found, I had figured it out without actually looking. And I thought only two YouTubers that I've seen so far that have actually uploaded videos on this. So I just want to showcase it, you know, be in the top three. Um, so what did we say? Bottom right. And then you should, you should have heard a door open right there. And that is this door. So you come in here and you guys will see there is these heads. Now keep in mind, you guys want to take two zombie heads. Just, you'll see later. Okay, and the net, and some of the other skulls, you're going to have to have a bow to actually get them. So get a bow and then, but this one is, I think, the wither skeleton. Or, no, this is the regular skeleton, as you can see. Another head. Uh, yeah. Let's put this over here just so we can have, like, the heads in a row. And then another one I found since I was in a tower, I looked everywhere and I would have thought, you know, I guess the other ones are in the tower too. And I actually found this one where there's a button, you shoot the button and it shoots the wither skeleton head. So as you guys can see, so far we had three heads. So, and then I also found another one where if you go up here, you jump up here, you jump up here. Basically go the same way where we look where the fire place is. Go up there. Um, and once you actually um, go up there, You'll see another button right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Right there, like on the stone block where my crosshairs are. You want to shoot that? Oh, oh, I got it. I don't know how. And then I'll actually shoot out a Steve head. And so far we have um, four. And I, I, I counted them and I'm like, wait, did I just get all of them? And then I just remembered, wait, there's a creeper head. So like I said earlier, guys, um, that pressure plate was a wooden pressure plate so you want to come back over here and that's why you brought two zombie heads you just want to put a zombie head right there 
And then I actually didn't find this out. I just threw it in there. And then my friend was actually standing over there doing the target practice. And he heard something open. And before we had seen under here, there's a lever. He heard something open over here. So he went over here. And this actually opens after you throw the zombie head over there. And you flick this lever. And this um, door should open up. Before it was not open, it should open up after you flick that lever. So I went in here and I was like, wow, so here are the three heads. And then I wondered, wait. Where is the wither skeleton? And that ha we have not found yet. I don't know if it even is on this map. Uh, but yeah. And then up here is the creeper head. And I like how they put it on like an emerald block. Because you have to do like kind of all the other steps to do it. Or you can just like do the other ones. But yeah guys. So those are the five um, um heads that you can find around the map. Uh, yeah. So there's the zombie one. Skeleton. Oh, uh, wither skeleton. Crap. Uh, Steve. And creeper. So yeah, guys. Um, and like I said, I was gonna show you the other firework spot. So what you wanna do is I'm actually gonna try to use this. Why oh, did I go over here? I'm actually try to use the uh, slime blocks to actually get up there this time. So how you use the slime blocks is you can do this, and then you can be like, John C. Oh my god. I suck. I'm sorry. And then there's actually this little thing you can do if you guys didn't know that. It just, sh it just pops up to little armor sense. So let's try this again. Try to bounce off the slime block. If not, I'll just... Yes! Okay. So you come up here. You come over here. You have to do kind of some parkour. Right here, you jump right here. You do right here. You go right here. And then right here, you're going to go up right here and go into this little like open window right here. And this is another fireworks spot, so if you click this lever, you look up, and then there's fireworks. And then, yeah, I I saw that you can jump right here, but I don't think this really is anything. Maybe it is, but I don't know. You can jump right here and over here, but I don't really think this is anything. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't really think this is anything. Uh, so yeah, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And keep in mind, um, right before you start a game, you can put these on and actually wear them in the Hunger Games when you start. Or actually, if you keep them in your inventory right now and the game starts, you're actually going to have them all in game. But it takes up um, five pieces of your inventory space, so I wouldn't. I would just at least pick one if you actually want to wear one um, in the Hunger Games. Uh, so yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little video on Easter eggs and yeah. So guys, make sure you go try these out yourself. It's really, it's really cool to do. Just do it with your friends, you know. See, um, like how fast you guys can do it. Show your friends this if they don't know it. Um, but yeah, guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. I'll be looking for um more secrets that maybe have came in this update. Uh, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I, I already said that. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.